Good evening and welcome to the September 9th meeting of the Civil Service Commission. May we have roll call, please? Commissioner Yakubian? Yes. Commis Commissioner Gazarian? Here. Commissioner Okarian? Here. Chair Devine? Here. For the record, Commissioner Manukian is absent. Okay. Before we get started, I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome a new face on our commission. Uh, Commissioner Abkarian has joined us. I had the pleasure of working with him many years ago when he was on this board, and uh, I must say it was a very good experience, and I think the city and this commission is very lucky that Mr. Abkarian consented to come back and serve the city again, and we appreciate it. And uh, there is one down downside, however, and that is that uh, Mr. Manukian and I are now uh, outnumbered again by three attorneys, so <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys will be nice to us and uh, <laughs> let us win once in a while. Anyway, uh, do you have any you. comments to make, Mr. I don't think Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay what's next, please? Minutes. Mr. Chair, if I may, to ensure accuracy in voting on these minutes, I prefer to vote on each item separately by reading them into the record. For the meeting of April 8th, 2015. I need a first and a second. Well, uh, for the record, uh, Chair Devine, uh, Chair Devine and I were, are the only commissioners that uh, are still on the commission from that hearing that took place, but I understand my colleague may have reviewed uh, Commissioner, Manu Commissioner Yakubian, uh, and therefore she may be able to second my motion. I do have a motion to approve. Um, yes, I have reviewed the minutes of April 8th, and accordingly um, I, have, I approve them, and so I second the motion. Okay, and uh, I'll say they're approved by unanimous consent with the exception of Mr. Abkarian, who is abstaining since he was not on the commission at the time. For the meeting of, for the meeting of August 12th, 2015, I need a first and a second. Move to approve. Second the motion. We have a unanimous consent on that, again, with the abstention of Mr. Abkarian, who was not on the commission at the time. Uh, next item, please. Oral communications. I have no cards. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to address the commission? Seeing none, we'll move on to the next item. Recruitment and examination reports. Mr. Doyle. Uh, Mr. Chair, members of the commission, uh, this uh, report represents the, uh, the recruitment and examination status. Uh, these are our current recruitment uh, activities. It lists the actual recruitment, the name of the title being recruited, the filing period, the dates of the exams. Uh, and the staff member assigned. Uh, this, this report uh, shows that there are approximately 52 processes uh, currently in effect, and this is fairly typical for this time of the year. Uh, as, as you see from this report, each meeting we, we knock some uh, recruitments off and then more ones get added. So uh, anyway, if the commission has any questions about any of these uh, recruitments, uh, I'd be happy to try and answer them. Otherwise, this is a note and file item. Any questions? <clears throat> Seeing none, we'll move on to the next item. Eligible list established. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Chair, members of the commission, these are the eligible lists that have been established since our last meeting. Uh, as I often say, the, this, this list represents the culmination of the, the exams once they're completed. It's sort of the end result uh, after we go through uh, the, the entire recruitment processes. Many of these uh, processes involve multiple components, whether it be written exam, uh, practical exam, uh, or uh, interview panel. Um, you see if uh, some of these open recruitments have as many as uh, two, 300 candidates, but ultimately by the very end of the process, we end up with a relatively small uh, eligibility list, and it's those el eligible candidates who then get forwarded to the departments when there are openings. Um, if the uh, commission has any questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them. Uh, this, too, is a note and file item. Okay. Are there any questions? Seeing none, we'll move on to the next item, please. Job bulletin for approval, senior DNA specialist. Mr. Doyle. Uh, Mr. Chair, members of the commission, uh, this item is a job bulletin for approval for senior DNA specialist. This is within our Glendale Police Department, our crime lab that we're very, very proud of. Um, I'm going to step back a little bit uh, for the commission and just uh, reiterate that not all 
job bulletins uh, necessarily have to come before the commission for approval. And I want to uh, reiterate the, the circumstances where they do have to come before. The first would be if we're doing an executive recruitment. Uh, the second would be if we're doing a public safety promotional recruitment, such as fire captain or police sergeant, something along those lines. Um, the third instance would be if we're changing the minimum requirements or we're posting a bulletin that would be inconsistent and to some degree with the approved class specification for that particular job. This particular instance, uh, this would be really the fourth example of a bulletin requiring commission approval, and that would be if we have a bulletin that was recruited for previously on a promotional basis, meaning it's kept internally, uh, if the decision is made or the recommendation is made to make it open, uh, therefore open to anyone from the outside, then we have those brought before the commission for their approval. And that's uh, the case that we have here. We, we relatively, uh, uh, the crime lab is relatively new and we had uh, three individuals we've hired at the uh, position of DNA specialist and two of those individuals we promoted we up to senior DNA specialist and uh, at this point we have uh, another opening being filled at the senior DNA specialist uh, classification and at this point uh, it is a recommendation of the police department to fill this on an open basis uh, as I understand the one internal candidate who is a DNA specialist uh, is too new they do not meet the minimum requirements for the senior a position and as you can see from the bulletin the minimum requirements are quite quite extensive most of our people in this area have master's degrees we even have a, a PhD um, and those minimum requirements as I understand it are set by the uh, uh, by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and we have to comply with certain uh, standards in order to make sure that our lab is compliant so for those reasons uh, we are uh, requesting that this be an open recruitment and uh, again, we believe there are no internal candidates who would qualify. So uh, with that, uh, this is a matter for your uh, approval. And if you have further questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them. We also have uh, Deputy Chief uh, uh, Povolitis here, as well as Russ Kwan from my staff who's working on this, this process. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? Seeing none, do we have a motion? Move to approve. Second. We have unanimous consent. Approved. And Mr. Chair, I will note uh, <laughs> the whole purpose this is brought to you is to, because it was an open recruitment, but the, uh, uh, there is an error on the, 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 the uh, bulletin itself. It, it does say promotional examination on it, oh, but yes. uh, it, is, it is in fact an open, will be an open recruitment okay. process. So. Thank you for catching that, and I'm sure Mr. Kwan will fix that up for us. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, next item, please. Class specification for approval accounting services series. Mr. Doyle. Mr. Chair, members of the commission, this is a revision to an existing <coughs> class uh, uh, series. This is the generalist accounting services uh, series. Uh, you see there are, there are four or five uh, classifications within this, this series. And these classifications are used throughout our finance department in the uh, areas such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, payroll. Um, one area that is sort of missing from that, uh, or from the job description, is that of uh, purchasing. And that's a very important uh, component within our finance department, uh, purchasing and the procurement of, of goods and services. So uh, what this uh, effort is, is to add, is to update the specification to include elements, both the job duties and the minimum requirements relating to purchasing. And that's really the, the primary purpose of this, uh, of this uh, uh, amended specification. So again, if you have questions on this, I'd be happy to try and answer them. Uh, Ms. Abramian from my staff worked on this along with uh, uh, the, the finance department. We have Michelle Flynn, who's our assistant finance director here as well. Very good. Do we have any questions on this one? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? Move to approve. I second. Okay, and we again have unanimous consent on that one. Uh, next, please. Last specification for approval, building code specialist series and building and safety inspection series. Mr. Doyle. 
Mr. Chair, members of the, the commission, uh, this is a revised class specifications, and we're, we're taking two with, uh, with this one staff report. Uh, this is from building and safety, uh, the building and safety section of uh, community development. And it's a bit of a reorganization and what's uh, pretty much an ever-evolving department. Uh, we have lots of movement in this, in this area. And it, a lot of it has to do with our changing needs, but uh, also uh, some particular challenges we have had recruiting in, uh, in this area for qualified people. The first uh, has to do with the Building Code Specialist series, and this is a series, it's an engineering-related uh, uh, series, and uh, from the bottom to the top, we're looking for people with uh, engineering degrees and engineering background, mainly structural, but civil uh, as well. But uh, what we've done to this series is uh, we've added a Building Code Specialist three uh, classification, and we have... Um, the purpose of this is, uh, as, as I was saying earlier, is recruitment. Um, it's getting very, very challenging to uh, attract uh, qualified people to these types of positions and, uh, and retain the ones that we currently have. Uh, and what we felt it would, would be appropriate to do would be add another level uh, building with Specialist 3. That way we can go out and offer a little, little higher pay uh, for qualified individuals. And uh, hopefully that will uh, assist us in doing uh, in our recruitment efforts. As far as the inspector series, that's kind of the second part of this. Um, this is uh, uh, an effort to, uh, I say, broaden the series a little bit. Right now we have uh, specific uh, inspectors for you know the various trades, including HVAC, building, plumbing, and uh, uh, there are there are means of becoming uh, qualified and getting certifications in multiple trades. And, uh, and that's what this uh, specification is, is, is uh, seeking to do, is to just uh, leave it at, uh, leave the titles at uh, sort of a generic inspector one, two, uh, and senior level, and then uh, see how we do as far as uh, assisting us with recruitment. And, and for those who do have the ability to to uh, uh, or, or qualifications in multiple trades, uh, it obviously provides us a, a great deal more flexibility in moving people around and assigning people depending on what the particular need is at that point. Um, again, these are two specifications that do require commission approval to proceed. Um, uh, Jan Edwards, our building official, is here, as is Jan Baer, our deputy building official, and Ms. Unanian from my staff who... Uh, who helped put this all together. So you have questions? Any questions? I, I was actually curious about a, a couple of things. Just I, I, was, I was wondering on page one why the word check was replaced with review. It just seems like check is a little bit more active of a verb versus review, which is a little bit more passive, and Someone it seems will. like it's an important... This would be on page one of the building code specialist two-thirds of the way down. That would basically be to kind of clarify and, and clean up some of the grammar. The, the check and the review are essentially the same meanings. It just provides us consistency throughout where a lot of the other uh, descriptors had review. It, we, we changed the check to be reviewed to be more consistent. And then um, on the next page, um, I noticed that in the previous posting, it was calling for um, effective customer service skills, and here you're requiring exceptional customer service skill. Um, is there a particular reason for that? It's basically to go along with city manager's directive where we're trying citywide to provide exceptional customer service skills throughout the entire organization by bringing people in, notifying them that that's the expectation uh, it, it helps us meet that goal from the city manager's office. Thank you. Mr. Chair and, and Commissioner Yacoubian, if I could expand upon that. There's been quite a, an effort, uh, as, as Ms. Edwards says, from the city manager's office to uh, really put forth a customer service uh, philosophy. We've had training. Uh, video was prepared, and actually we've all seen the video, and I think it's about time that we have to watch it again. But the the 
terminology is exceptional customer service. So that's more or less consistent with that directive. Well, um, in light of that explanation, then I would wonder why for the accounting services series, um, you actually have effective and not exceptional. Um, the one that we had just recently reviewed. And that would be a, a good catch, and this is something that we uh, we would want to make uh, consistent with all of the, with all of the uh, job descriptions. So that's why we need attorneys on this commission <laughs> to keep those things up. Very good. <laughs> yes, to give it. To you. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm remaining quiet. I told you I wasn't going to say anything. I mean, with the commission's concurrence, I, I, we can. That type of a change is clerical in nature, and we'll make that change for the uh, county. Thank, so thank you for catching that. I, I prefer to see exceptional, and I prefer to see exceptional not just on print but in practice. <laughs> I think it's a great idea that the city manager has initiated that uh, that standard. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No. Second. Okay, we have unanimous consent, and I'd like to mention that uh, when you mentioned the staff here representing this particular bulletin, uh, you didn't mention the new director of community development, Mr. Lanzafame, so he's hiding in the back there, but uh, welcome to the crew there, and uh, we appreciate all your help with that. So, okay, well, on to the next item. Class specification for approval, economic development, administrative series. Yes. Mr. Chair, members of the commission, this is a, uh, a class specification for approval, and these are two uh, classifications that were approved in the last budget cycle. Uh, not necessarily two new positions, but uh, new classification titles. Um, essentially, these are specialized uh, classifications within the economic development uh, section, uh, and um, really just these are positions that will provide uh, generalized staff staff support to the economic development uh, function. You'll see on this, uh, this specification an emphasis on uh, marketing, uh, business outreach, business retention. So it's really a, an effort to, to more specialize, to more specialize the, uh, the functions of, uh, of these two, uh, two classifications. And at some point, we will go ahead and fill positions at this level. Um, if you have questions on this, uh, uh, we have Mr. Lanzafame here, who is uh, who who was the economic development director. Now he's the the uh, the community development director. Also, uh, Darlene Sanchez, who is uh, also with our economic development department, as well as Ms. Hunanian from my staff. If you have questions? Very good. Any questions on this bullet? Seeing none, do we have a motion? Move to approve. Second. Okay, again, we have uh, unanimous consent. Thank you very much, Mr. Lanzafane. You did great on your first appearance as Director of Community <laughs> Development. <laughs> okay, next item, please. Civil Service Commission, staff comments. Do the commissioners or staff have any comments? Uh, I'd like to, uh, with your permission, Chair, um, thank Commissioner uh, Warigi for his uh, service with us on this commission. Um, I recall he was enduring uh, trying, trying times with respect to his uh, family member. I don't recall if it was the mother or the father. Uh, and wherever he may be, I hope he is doing well. Uh, I enjoyed serving with him. He was a fine gentleman. And he was an attorney, by the way, too. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I welcome... Uh, Former and now again Commissioner Upkarian to the Civil Service Commission. Welcome. Any other comments? I would just echo uh, Commissioner Gazarian's comments. Thank with respect you. to both Com Commissioner Haringi and Upkarian. I will Upkeri. echo Welcome that also. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Unanimous echoing. Unanimous <laughs> echo. <laughs> Love in the air. Right. Okay, what's next, please? Adjournment. Adjournment. We're adjourned. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How long was it here?